<laughs> oh, um. <laughs> How you doing, everyone? It's your old pal Jim here, and <laughs> we're, we're playing Dream Daddy. Um, <laughs> uh, to be quite honest, guys, I didn't know if I was gonna play this or not, but um, dear friend and uh, and uh, comrade in artistic arms, Mason Williams was nice enough to get this for me and uh, quite a few of my friends want to see me play it so i figured why not why not let's let's play dream daddy uh, this will be a unique experience for me because i've never really played a um a uh, graphic novel type thing and it's i'm in a unique position because i've been watching markiplier play this game and I've even watched Jacksepticeye play the game. I've watched about one or two videos, so I have a sense of, of, to know what's going on here. Uh, but I, I haven't watched beyond that as soon as I found out that I have this in my inventory now. Because what use is a reaction if you can't get a genuine one, you know? So, um, I, uh, luckily I played those videos and I wasn't like, I didn't have all my attention on them. I like to work on my stuff and then have them on a side screen plane. So I don't... Uh, I don't like 100% recall every detail, so that's one advantage. So I probably missed quite a few things. So hey, we're gonna we're gonna find this out together. Together. Uh, 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 hey, I always wanted to play a game, an official Game Grumps video game, and this is it. So hey, I'm, I'm really interested. <laughs> I'm really kind of curious what this has. A uh, very unique uh, concept for a game, I guess. Ooh, eat a balanced meal every day that includes vegetables, fruit, and proteins. Dad tip number 82. Uh, okay, cool. I'll have to make sure I do that. Oh, oh. It, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Dad, wake up! Uh, huh. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Oh, cool. This is like a narrative. Come on, Dad. This hasn't worked on me since I was six. Uh, oh, is that me? I'm sorry, Amanda. This, <laughs> yeah, it's me. It's the end of me. Dad, I swear to God. <laughs> Amanda, I bequeath to you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Oh, I have a recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get moving <laughs> into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Mm. Oh, he's so cute. Is that my kid? I never really envisioned myself as a, as a dad. This is kind of a strange experience for me. I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Ah, yes, I am the epitome of smooth. <laughs> Morning, man the panda. <laughs> Ugh. Yikes, dad breath. Oh, I, <laughs> I was doing the pew gesture and I accidentally hit my microphone. My expensive new microphone that I'm using that radio hosts use all the time. Oh, ta did that. number 12, Moving Pictures is hands down the best Rush album. Dad tip number 92. Okay. Bill Excellent. That dad. <laughs> Bill that dad, eh? Is that what we're doing? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and build that dad. All right, well, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I guess. Oh, we're choosing the bot now. Cool. Oh. I mean, let's face it, we're either one of these two. <laughs> I mean, like, come on. Uh, what? Is, what's the difference here? Oh, I see thick tank bod and then thick binder bod. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Oh, they have the names up there. Sorry, I kind of didn't see that. Athletic binder bod. Oh, I see. That's actually really cool. You get a, you get to have a binder if you want. And then not. Just a regular tank. That's cool. That's cool. Well, you know, I'm kind of... My only complaint so far is that they don't have anything in between these. Because I know that's pretty big. But, you know, is there anything in between? I guess not. All right, well, now, nope. <laughs> I don't want no hair. Um, your heads? Oh, okay. Uh, trying to make, I'm trying to make this true to life as much as possible. Okay, I'm kind of torn between, do, do I want dimple or do I not, do I not want dimple? Uh, oh, 
that's cool. On the lower right, too, you get a little action thingy. There we go. I, I got a little nice chubby there. A little, 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 little place. You're my first shot I got. Uh, I don't know what doing that in front of the microphone accomplished. No one can see anything. All right, so dark hair. That suspiciously looks like Danny's hair. Uh, let's see what else we got. I like the sideburns on that one. Although I don't think I, do, I don't have a, that abundant of hair. It's pretty short these days. Speaking of which, no, maybe. Goku hair! I could be a stupid Saiyan. I wonder if you get to edit this after you make it. I don't. I don't think you. I don't think you can. Well, curly Q and the cool looking sideburns. Cool. What else we got? Ah, <laughs> I got the fryer tuck thing going on there. I don't actually have the fryer tuck thing. Go Ooh, that was actually a nice one too. Or you know, I could go like a cue ball. Oh oh oh. <laughs> There's not much difference there. Except I guess one's more filled out than the other. Wait. Uh, kind of fighting those two. Well, I don't have to make it exactly like me, right? I, I can just choose the kind of hair that I like. Yeah, I, I could live in a fantasy type world. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, let, let me let, let me get a hair that appeals to me as a person, like the kind that I would actually like. Uh, I don't think I'd have long hair. I think I'd, I'd like I'd have short hair. Kind of leaning towards that Goku hair, but I know it's not me. <laughs> I kind of want it, but I know that I'll probably regret it. Because from what I've seen, this is a fairly thought out game. I like this. It's the sideburns that are selling me on it. So which one do I want? I mean, I, I know there's two there's two kind of hairs that have the, that sideburn action going on. I forget which ones. Or it actually just might be that one. Uh, it quite possibly might just be that one. Oh, wait a minute! Oh no, that's more like Danny here. Danny here without the poof, I think. I don't know! This is gonna take forever! I'm gonna have to chop this down. I'm an indecisive little devil when it comes to that sort of stuff. I think I'm gonna stick with that hair. I like that hair because I like the sideburns. And heck, I'm gonna go with it because that's what I want. Eyes. <laughs> no, I won't go with that. Oh, yeah. Hard eyes, Mofa. I'm having way too much fun with this. Hard eyes, my friend. I'm trying not to curse as much. <laughs> if I can help it. Is there sleepy eyes? Oh, I was just talking about sleepy eyes. Um, are there sleepy or looking kind of, that is way too mischievous. Uh, dot eyes, in case I didn't, whoa, it's a little too intense, a little too looking straight at me. Uh, I don't think I want those. I think I'm going with the, uh, that's way too sleepy eyes. That's like, way, the, the sleepy eyes that are too much in, too much sleepy. I like these, yeah, 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 I like those. I like it. Because everything else doesn't, uh. <laughs> I'm still kind of stuck on that. Okay. Uh, sleepy eyes it is. Noses. I get to choose a nose. All right. I think I have a... Uh, yeah, actually, I might go with that one. I think this... I'm actually... I'm actually sizing up my own nose just to see. Oh, okay. Actually, I might go with that one. Because it sort of droops slower, I guess. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. So it's either this or that. Uh, I would say... Oh, which one? No, not that. Okay, so... Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his... Oh, toe. Let's go with this one. I didn't even finish. I just chose one. I just chose one. I'm rolling with it. Hey, the cat smile type thing. I might automatically go with that one. Oh my, colored lips, eh? Bleh. Oh no. Uh, what are you looking at? I am a daddy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Uh, the, 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 yeah. No, I want the cat smile one. I'm, I'm attached to that. Anytime I see a cat smile sort of thing, I automatically go for it. All my knees have that. Well, 
one me because <laughs> I recre created just a one me there. Uh, well, first off, let's match it with the actual hair. Uh, and now let's uh, cycle through what kind of eyebrows my guy, my daddy's gonna have. What's my daddy gonna have? Gonna, oh yeah. I want friendly eyebrows. Eyebrows are yeah, less than this, you know? These are like aggressive her eyebrows, you know? I want like, like, hey, eyebrows. Like, yeah, like that or like this. Huh. Which ones will look better? I think, I mean, I think I might go with, nah, nah. Those are worrisome eyebrows. Okay, so either this or this. Is, this, is that too in your face? Do you think that's too in your, uh, I'm asking you, you're not gonna be able to answer. Uh, um, uh, I think I'm attached to these. If anything, I could change right before I finalize. No facial hair, yeah, that's right. I do not have any facial hair round glasses. I am very, I am happy. <gasps> very neat. You get to choose uh, the, the frames. I'm going to choose yellow because uh, that's what I have in real life. I have small circular glasses a la John Lennon. And I refuse to say a la Harry Potter because that's why I specifically avoid dark rimmed glasses because mine's are small and round because of that guy. No piercings. Clothing? Well, hey. Uh, I could be. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. Really? I'm just going to wander around in my underwear? No. <laughs> Fergie! Oh, that's kind of... This is really casual wear. Although, I'm kind of really tempted to... Oh, it's good to know that no matter what your body type, you, they'll still offer you the Danny sex bang outfit. Um, they got eggs. Got uh, maple bays. Is that where I was born? Is that where we're going? Ooh, very official. Very, very official. Uh, very casual official. Very casual official. Oh, cool. So, oh, Doritos. Oh, that screams 90s to me. Oh, that screams 90s to me. I don't know. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, uh, I'm kind of, <laughs> I kind of want to. I kind of want to, but I don't want to be that dad that wanders around like that. I kind of like, oh, that's actually pretty casual. It's actually what I would actually wear. A little heart in the corner because I would I really like the blazer and, and suit the thing I mean I like how they look like they're cool but I don't know it kind of feels a bit you know too official too formal also I forgot that they have names Tommy banana suit party suit navel suit kitten suit plain suit Sagan is number one I like that one uh, come de the Maple Bay tea, flower tea, egg nips tea, badass tea, Danny clothes. They just straight up call it Danny clothes. Aaron clothes. <laughs> you can. <laughs> I love it. Uh, plain white tea and underoos. Underoos. I don't think that. I'm torn between these two. I know for a fact I would wear this for surely. But I kind of want to wear that. But I know for a fact that if I do, I'm going to be the weird dad. Do I want to label myself as the weird dad going in? Because I'm pretty sure once I start this, that's it. It's just going to be it. That the, Once the ship has sailed, I can't. There's no returning to the docks. At least I don't think so. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a hard choice to make here. Oh no. Um. Yeah, I. Th I think. I. Th I, th I th mm. All right. This is for sure gonna be uh, uh, at random. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. I give up. The Danny, the Danny outfit, even though I really want it. I want to be a Danny in that thing. But I know for a fact that it might wear out on its charm. I know that in reality, if I were ever put in a dad position, 
I would not dare wear that as a dad, so I'll wear this. And it even has a heart because I wholeheartedly believe in love. I guess that's it. Looking good, Daddy? Name that dad. Name that dad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hang on, Daddy. Something tells me this whole daddy aspect is going to be rolling for a while. Uh, oh, I wonder if I can get away with Knickerbocker. Whoa, missed it by one letter. Ah! Missed it by one letter. Missed it by one letter. Honestly, you gave me all that space. You could just add one. Just one. Ah, I was so hoping I could get away with that. Okay. Let's see. Let's come up with a last name. Unless I could... Nah, we need a last name. Uh, oh, gosh. I don't know. I wasn't prepared for this. I was not prepared for this endeavor. I did not. Is there like a last name that I like? Or... Uh, oh, wait. I'll name... Of course. I'll name him uh, the... Uh, the Sean brown i'll name him i'll just give him the name of my the co a comic character that i have uh, i write a comic called uh whoa gee what is it called um <laughs> uh roll to save i'm sorry i was drawing a blank roll to save is a as a comic that i write that uh uh, Ma uh, uh mason williams helps me uh, as in with the drawing bit and uh, the main character of it is john brown who is loosely based off of me and i figure why not his name fits, so may as well put him down. So, be that dad. I am gonna be that dad. Don't smoke. Dad tip number seventy-seven. <laughs> I did. Oh, d d d do what you on. Oh, I didn't get to read it. Dad, you fall asleep packing. I got most of it done, I think. <laughs> Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Mm -hmm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Hey. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Oh, baby! Oh, look at the baby! <laughs> <laughs> I like the little sound she does. Eh. <laughs> That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Oh, my! Oh, hey, it's decision time. The only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I, hmm. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm doing a rap song. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I gotta choose one, don't I? Um, well, I know this game is called Dream Daddy. Uh, but let's. Let's formulate a little story here before we move on. Okay, so maybe uh, John Brown was from a a a, a um w w was in a mother w w was in a wife and a husband relationship. And so as we move along, he's going to discover is that daddies are where it's at. Yeah, I think I think I'll go with that. I think so. I think the whole twist in, in having having a, had a wife and then discovering where that, you know, oh, maybe it's a daddy in my life that I need is a little interesting. I think so. Now yeah, let's go with that. The only way your mother and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. Be w But whenever... Oh, wait, he's John Brown, so let me give him the voice that I always imagined him having. But whenever we try to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. <laughs> Halloween when you were maybe four? <laughs> Aww. Oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide being uh, between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both princess dragon. Oh, huh? Why do I remember crying in that costume? Well, you saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. <laughs> right, yep, definitely repress that memory. Oh, look at her. And this was what you and your horse face. Oh. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. <laughs> I don't think that was his... Amanda lunges for the fu- Oh, 
Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. <laughs> Oh, look at her face. Nah. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. Ouch, kid. The Scommunist Manifesto had a... <laughs> the Scommunist Manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off in the distance and reminisce about the rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P! Ugh. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Aww. Dad, Emma R's been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. All right, Emma P was the one who, uh... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, tried to steal people's po pets... Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. Pooped her pants during a sleepover. I'm going to go with the middle one. Light a fluid tennis ball tennis racket, right? Dad, that was you. All right. I was a wild child. <laughs> I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda. I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit the flaming tennis ball. Aww. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, show this to Emma R later. Oh, sure, I gotta show this to Emma R. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Oh, that's so nice. She does photography. Huh. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. All right. And then you got a food poisoning. <laughs> All right. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blasts. I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with a Z. <gasps> Dad. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. <laughs> Still, pr <laughs> Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches, oh, Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Oh, hmm. oh. Ne neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Uh. I finally decide to break the silence. Oh, gee. Let's go with you were born. It's uh, kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just, just a fender bender. But of course I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man. She holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen her. She says, it's okay, it's all gonna be okay. Uh... She was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss her. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Ah. She pats me on the back. Okay. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. Hey! I got a snazzy car. <laughs> Amanda and I pull into the car and take one lat la 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 <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hmm? Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. <laughs> hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? Yeah, you were a very imaginative child. Hey! Hey, I remember when I broke the back window pl- We get it, Amanda, you break stuff. Hmm. And there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Hmm. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this- I grew- oh no, we said I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get in, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So, so, uh, what? Huh? So, sell me on your cool new pad. 
I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. <laughs> And nestled in the beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features. <laughs> not only, not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can catch a wink. What a deal! I mean, if I sleep, if, if sleep weren't for the week, you sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, pops. I keep it real. Anyway, you know, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Uh, good spin! Yeah. I think it's great. We won't, won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to, so I don't have to waste gas? And, I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know we're gonna have to learn how to parallel... <laughs> you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Hmm. Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-pointer turn around, <laughs> a three-point turn on their attitude. Eh? I don't know how to do that either. <laughs> Have you met the neighbors yet? Uh, not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm. So you won't have a, so you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn. You are the very teen. You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Hmm. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. <laughs> Yeah, you're a real... Don't you dare. Senior... Mm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Mm. I'm just gonna ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't forget it. So, what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first, we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still, ha I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to, uh, we need to go grocery shopping. Hmm. Pops, cool your jets. You have, a, you have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Oh, okay, okay. You're right. We'll get more. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step in outside. The lawn is freshly mown, and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Ha! <laughs> Hi-ya! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. <laughs> I, <g> <laughs> I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. <laughs> Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. <laughs> An ice cream sandwich. Heh. <laughs> Sweetie, it's ten in the morning. <laughs> we need to unpack first. I need some coffee ASAP. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? I need some coffee. I love coffee. I do. I gotta get my hands on a nice cup of hot cup of the old bean juice or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it! No, oh, I guess... We're, oh, okay. Dad, uh, number... Peter Weller actually has a PhD in history. We walk down the street to the Coffee Spoon. A cute little place on the corner. <laughs> oh, I love that! I love that! Yes! <laughs> Man, th this is in the such... This is in such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean... I guess. Hmm. What's wrong? Oh, why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink a better coffee at my own home, on my own couch, and not have to make an awkward eye contact with people? I have a feeling my dad persona in this game is not a very social person. At least when I'm home, some random guy is gonna come up and sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel like a little weird at, at, about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Hmm. Dad. And what's with the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you have to go sit it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you have to leave it there and fe feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and you know you're that jerk who left that mug? Ugh. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda! <laughs> we walk inside. Huh. Oh, hello there! <laughs> The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. 
vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to the little stage. Oh. Oh. Welcome to the Coffee Spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's, a. Uh, it's kind of dumb. Hmm. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. And I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running? Mm. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give the same answer every time. And now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Hey. <laughs> Well, I know I'm awkward in real life, but I'm not as awkward as my dad version of me in this game. <laughs> so what'll it be? Oh. I scan the chalkboard menu and am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have, uh... uh oh, Godspeed, you. Black Coffee, Iced Tegan, and Sarah. Chai Ant Ward. Uh... Oh, I do like iced tea, though. Is it going to matter if I say let's get some coffee and I come in for iced tea? I'll take iced tea, Gin and Sarah. Hmm. Oh, hey. Uh, did I do something good? I did something good, I hope. <laughs> good choice. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Tegan and Sarah are this really awesome Canadian indie band formed in 1995. They were nominated for a Grammy in 2013 and are known for being masters of not only pop hits, but meaningful lyricism, 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 excuse me. Oh. I'm doing that thing again. Oh. But coming right up. Mm. And for you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want to, do you want that in a small, medium, or biggie smalls? Ah, uh, medium. Huh. Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh... I should change that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Matt sets to making our drinks. Oh, <clears throat> Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? <laughs> let, let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey! <laughs> hey! Skull was cool once! <laughs> this couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar, good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. <laughs> Amanda nudges me. <laughs> this place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. <laughs> you should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Come on. What, what did we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. Huh. <laughs> See? We're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table and I have a sip. The iced teagle and Vera is delicious. Uh. Hi. We're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, John. Uh -oh. oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You gotta come back. You gotta come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I, I'm sh Yeah, I'm sure it will maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. Ow! I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Let me get you guys' his opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Oh. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, uh, get the full flavor profile of, y you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... I mean, the nods vigorously. She knows my game. <laughs> yeah, we need to give that na nana... <laughs> you know, we need to give that nana bread a taste of... <laughs> if you want us doing free creative labor, I think that would be a, a consumer it with... Uh, I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. <laughs> I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right. Yes. That. <laughs> Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. Alright. Alright. This is amazing. Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Mm. So, any ideas? 
I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad bad puns. But I'll give it a shot. Oh, uh, banana bed, banana bread, Kennedy's, grateful banana bread, right said banana bread. <gasps> I'm gonna go with the last one. Right said Fred. Right said Fred was the guy that made the song. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. You know that one. Like, oh hey, he liked it. Like Red, no, <laughs> excuse me. Like Right said Fred. Yeah, he knows that. But now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. What? <laughs> that actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah, right said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. It. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool. But once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. And maybe I should just leave saying baby to the profession. Leave ba <laughs> saying baby to the professionals. Oh. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey. <laughs> See, it sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. <laughs> I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hmm. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, take care. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Ooh. Uh, I need to take a nap. I should get back to unpacking. Let's get some, for some, yeah, let's get some fresh air. Time to soak up all that vitamin D, make our bones nice and strong. Yeah, our skeletons are gonna get so strong, they're gonna hop right out of our bodies and crush cars with their bony fingers. Amanda. I already have an irrational fear that my skeleton will one day escape this flesh and run amok. Please don't encourage it. Right, sorry. Uh, to the park! Alright, dad tip number 14, shave with the grain. And I think this is where I'm going to stop. I, I, I kind of went over a little bit, I think. Uh, but don't worry, I'll pick up immediately right here where I left off. So, uh... Yes, if you want to see more of my playthrough of uh, Dream Daddy, subscribe to my YouTube channel over at Jim Nekobaker. And as always, nothing ventured, nothing gained.